now, here's what we're going to do. Yeah, I don't know if you guys are familiar with electronic music, but in electronic music we have we have a drop, right? Where we have we have no drums, we got a build, and then we have the big, you know, bam, where it comes into the chorus, so you know the main, um, you know the bring bring the noise, you know, we got we got all the noise. Um, so that's what we're going to do here now. So we're gonna we're gonna sort of build up, you know, to the to the big to the big you know forte um, part of the song. So we're gonna just go ahead and we're gonna copy these again. Uh, our our piano um, regions. I'm gonna copy them twice, maybe. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a new drum region here. Let's see, and we're gonna extend it all the way to the length of both of these. And this is gonna. This is gonna. Let's see. We're gonna have like no. Um, we're gonna make it like real quiet. There we go. Notice also that here at the end of this drum fill here, the drum fill got a lot quieter, and it's detecting that the next drum region here we set to be quieter than the last one. So the drum fill is gonna be quieter than the previous uh, than the previous drums in the region. Um, similarly, if we made this really loud, notice the drum fill in the previous region gets a lot louder. So it's really, it, it knows, the GarageBand is really great about, you know, making all your drum beats match up. So let's, let's just, uh, let's see, we're gonna make this like, um, just sort of a little bridging drum beat. We're gonna turn off kicks and snare by just clicking here. And we're gonna turn fills off as well. Now we're gonna turn fills to like almost off. Let's see how that sounds. Oh, okay, so let's turn off. We forgot to turn off snare. Turn off snare too. And it's messing around with the pattern of the hats a little bit. Let's put those um let's put the percussion back in. There we go. And let's turn up fills a bit. So we get some more fills in there. Alright, let's just try that. Alright. Uh, immediately not liking that fill there. That didn't sound too good. That didn't sound too good either. So what we can just do is just tweak the fill knob a little bit to get some different fills in there. Sounds better. Experimentation, ladies and gentlemen, do it. Ah, yes. So now we're gonna do this drum sounds pretty good, although it is missing one thing, and that is a it's a minor little gripe. Um, we're missing a crash cymbal right at the beginning here. We go from a drum fill just into this drum beat, and there's no there's no crash cymbal. So we'll we'll add that in a second. Um, first things first. Um, let's see. Let's um, let's let's tone down the chords a little bit and tone down the whole melody because we want to get quiet and then get loud you know so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the track editor here by double clicking on the region and we're gonna zoom out and select all of these chords in here um, these two chord regions all the notes in these chord regions and we're gonna just turn go down here to velocity and we're gonna turn the velocity down to 
like 50. And velocity is basically, imagine you're playing the piano, you're actually playing a piano. Um, if you hit the notes really, 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 really hard, that's like velocity 127. If you hit the notes like softer, you know, that's like velocity like 20, I think is, you know, the lowest you can put in GarageBand. Um, so it's, velocity is how hard you're hitting the notes. So if you put a softer velocity uh, or lower velocity, you'll get softer, you know, notes. So let's hear what it sounds like. That actually... So actually, funnily enough, what I've done is I selected all the chords and forgot to select the um, the higher pitch notes. But so I left the higher pitch notes at higher velocity because they weren't selected when I changed it. But it actually sounds really good with those notes at higher velocity because they stand out and they sound really good. So what we're gonna do also is we're gonna um, we're gonna look at a diff a new feature of GarageBand here um, involved with the the track editor. And that's called the uh, transposing, which is common in you know like music theory and like music music uh, writing writing music. Um, but in GarageBand, it's very 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 easy. So what you want? Let's say we want to put all of these notes here. These these two regions, all the notes in these regions, we want to put them up one octave, so they're higher pitched. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the track editor, select these two regions here. Go down here to where it says transpose in the track editor at the bottom. And we're going to drag this slider up to plus, well, I guess it's not plus, uh, just up to 12. And that is one octave, 24 would be two octaves, but that's kind of high. So we're going to leave it to 12. And now you'll see that it'll go up in pitch here. And while we're at it, we're also going to lower the velocity of these two by selecting them all. And we're going to turn down the velocity to, let's say, like 60. All right, and here we go. Oh, yeah. Now, I think these could be actually, maybe, maybe 24 would be good. And to get back from notes to region, you just click the region tab here. That's where um, transpose is here, is under region. There we go, transpose. And here we go. Oh, yeah. Alright, this sounds really good. So now what we're gonna do is right before we drop it into the into the big heavy, you know, um, chorus, we're gonna um, we're gonna add a little bit of flair to the end of this melody. So we got we're gonna zoom in for some finer adjustment. Uh, let's see. Let's do like some like nice flair here. Let's see. Let's just add something different. Da, 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 da. 
da, 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 oops. There we go. So now we have this little tail here in the end. And what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to um, increase the velocity of these by a whole bunch here. Let's say to 90, so we get. What we're going to do now is we're going to what we're going to do is we're going to make this last fill here because it's going to this fill is what's going to take us into the chorus. So what we're going to do is we're going to split this from the rest of the drum beat. This is so dramatic. We're going, to, we're going to split this from the end of the drum beat, and we are going to turn this thing so loud. <laughs> there we go. All right, and then we'll tweak it in a bit. So let's just hear how this crazy thing sounds now. And we're going to turn the complexity up because we want a big, big old fill there. Let's try that. That's not even that loud. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, gouache man. Give me some of that. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right. I think the compression might be holding it back a little bit. All right, let's change the hi-hat pattern here as well in that fill. Let's try that. Again, this fill is not working for me. There, let's try that. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna We're gonna split this a few more times and we're gonna put um we're gonna put some fills here and then no fills in the last segment there. This is the hardest part of songwriting, it's just tweaking it until you get it right. Here we go. <laughs> it sounds really good. Alright, let's try this different drum with the uh, hi-hat pattern. I remember that. Now we've got our drum fill. Now where are we going from there? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna once again copy and ooh had the wrong track selected. We're gonna select our piano melody track. Then we're gonna paste in our um, we're gonna paste in twice our melody here, and we don't want it transposed to twenty four now. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and take the tra transposition. That's a word all the way down to zero to make it the same as original. Zoom out the track editor and we're going to change the velocity for all these notes here to maximum velocity. There we go. Now you see it's going to be so loud. Here we go. Which is what we want. Next, we're going to copy-paste. We're going to do the exact same thing with the, um, with the chord regions, except we're going to copy the ones in which... Um, we're going to copy the ones... Let's see. Yeah, we're going to copy those. <laughs> no need for explanation. <laughs> there we go. Let's see. And then we're going to do the same thing with these, except where they weren't transposed. What we're going to do is we're just going to select 
all of these and turn the velocity up to 127. Let's see what it sounds like now, shall we? Starting from the fill. Oh, yeah. The chords are not enough right now. They're not doing it for me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna repeat these chords a bunch so we get the like, you know, hitting, hitting the, um, hitting the chord, you know, a lot more times than just that once. See. So we're gonna shorten the notes and just copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. So we get. Okay. That wasn't actually really enough, is it? Let's select all the notes and then shorten, copy, paste. Let's try that. Right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to turn down the um, I'm going to turn down on the volume of these chords a bit. But I think that sounds decent like that. So let's uh, do the same thing with all these chords here. Bam! Okay. This is just me rapid fire copy pasting. <laughs> oh, jeez, the lag is real. There we go. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy paste again. And we're gonna delete. Oh, okay. There we go. And don't give me the okay good. Okay. Looks good. Alright, let's hear this again, shall we? And you can hear that the, the chords are totally overpowering the, um, the melody. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, duplicate this piano track here. Command D, and we're gonna take these two chorus, um, these two regions of the chords uh, of the chords that are in the chorus of our song now, and we're gonna drag them down to this new track we just created. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna have the same track with a lower volume. So we're gonna turn the volume of this new track down to negative six. Let's say. Let's play it now and see how it sounds. So these chords need some more bass. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this here. Nope, we're going to copy this. And we're going to copy paste. And we're going to drag this down to C1. Okay, so we got some bass now in these chords, yeah. Now, Experiment time. Let's see what happens if we turn the the transposition on these chords to, on these on this melody to uh, plus twelve during the chorus. Let's see how that sounds. That sounds better, I think. I'm not entirely sure why it's skipping like that, but that is really annoying. So now what we're going to do, I guess this is probably going to be the last step in this song that will never be, I don't know, maybe it will be someday. Um, we're going to still create a new drum region again here and make it the entire length of the chorus. Then we're going to make it real loud and pretty complex and we're going to switch it back to kick and snare pattern of three and hi-hat three and percussion two. 
and turn the fills up a bit. And now let's hear what it sounds like. Okay, I don't know about that. Let's try hi-hat pattern one. I think the complexity is up too high on this drum beat here. Alright, let's try hi-hat pattern 2. That sounds cool. Guess what we forgot to do? We forgot to copy and paste the piano bass here into the into the second region of the chord progression. There it is. Right. Now it should sound all good and proper. So let's hear how this all sounds together, shall we? Let's actually play it from the beginning of this part here. Sweet. Turn the chords up a little bit. Let's put it at minus four. But I think it sounds really good, and I think we need some more fills also in this second drum beat. Let's try that on for size. Alright, you know what, I think this is really, 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 really good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to bring an end uh, to the, um, we're, we're going to bring an end to the intro to song making tutorial here, and I hope that uh, you guys have learned a lot from this, and I hope you guys will go out and make some songs, um, and if you do, then like totally send them to me. Um, show everybody what GarageBand can do. This is not even scratching the surface, and I will get into so much more in my tutorials um, as to all the crazy awesome stuff that GarageBand can do. Um, but for now, I'm going to leave you uh, with just, I'm going to play the song all the way through, so I hope you enjoy. <laughs>